Hello everybody, we are here today at uh, Gedlin. Um, I'm off to see the tunnel today. Um, just want to take this opportunity, I saw a building when I was walking down uh, Gedlin Road and it's abandoned. I saw it was abandoned from the other side and now I've seen it's abandoned from this side. So if we're just going to go here and have a look, you'll see it's an old school, it's called Sherwood Academy and it is completely abandoned and well let's just say I'll be coming here soon with the lads with Knott's Explorer and we'll come and visit it because it's definitely abandoned so I repeat Sherwood, Sherwood Academy I, I saw it from the other side as I said don't know if we can get through here just to have a look but you will see it's all boarded up it's all boarded up and it's all derelict and I'm not sure how to get in you can't get in from this side because there is a little office there with someone in it all the time I can see a gate down there to get in but again you have to come across here first so and there's a lot of surveillance here so I wouldn't 100% recommend you coming in anyway but if you want to come and explore it I believe there's other entrances to this place and I repeat this is called Sherwood Academy so yeah I just thought I'd show you that and that's a little clip there for you and now we're off to um, the old tunnel Gedlin tunnel and just gonna go up a jitty way in a minute see what's what um, so like up there I don't know what's up there Oh, guess what I've just seen? I've seen a hedgehog. That's a hedgehog. No, you're not having it. There you go, just seen a hedgehog. Remember, subscribe to my videos, hit that like button, and uh, let me know what you think. Boom! I'm just showing you all these new uh, buildings all the way up there that used to consist of the old mine, as in the old pits, sorry, the old Gedlin pits, which we're now gonna go, I was gonna go through that way, but it won't let me in, so I've gotta go all the way around. But I was gonna go in to see the tunnel, but it's all blocked off now. I don't know if you remember, guys, there was nothing there before, before them uh, houses have been built, and I used to be able to go through there, onto the other side, to get to the pit which is behind there and it's uh, they're quite nice houses actually quite modern quite sufficient I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with the houses I went through the estate earlier the estate is called Chase Farm um, and yeah it's a massive area of land as you can see it's pretty cool though I like it so we're off to the Mapley Tunnel we'll be able to see the church Gedlin Church in the background here. It's got a beautiful um, tower to it. Nice little cemetery that we found. And we're starting here today because we're off to Gedlin Country Park. Now, Gedlin Country Park stretches all the way from up there, all the way down, across, and into Gedlin. Now, found a little twitchlet. Not sure where it goes, but we're going to find out. So, if you remember, in the old days you could walk up here and you could actually get through to quite a few different places coming this way. But now with the new, um, with the new buildings at the top of this hill, that's no longer possible. However, being Midlands Explorer as I am always looking for entrances nice palm tree there I have found a little entrance there and we're gonna tackle it so we're gonna go in here uh, no idea what we have up here but I know it's cordoned off over there because of them houses I'm talking to you about and I'll show you the extent of the estate it's actually called Chase Farm, the whole estate. And yeah, I remember here when there was nothing here. And now look at it. 
quite an extent of land and it's uh, pretty cool I um, I think it's been very well constructed a lot of it and I've, I've been in some of the houses and they're pretty cool so what we're gonna do today is venture as we normally do come on go down there go down good boy I'm gonna try and go around I've just been stung by nettle but yeah we're gonna try and go around yeah, I'm basically going round to the park from a different entrance, you know? And uh, I, I know it's possible to come this way, because I've been this way in the past. However, all these buildings weren't here. What are you doing? I think he's chasing something. He's found something and he's chasing it. So, let's come along here. Let's try and avoid these bloody nettles. If I can, I'm not going to be able to. So here we are. We are officially in Gedling Country Park on the other side <laughs> so I haven't been along here actually for quite a while and it's quite an extent of land here Marbles, what are you doing? He likes it here so I would be going all the way up there <laughs> into the woods now I think we're going to do that today because we're going to head a different way than we normally do so off we go towards the pits now have you ever been on one of these as a kid I always remember these things as a child because I used to like skateboarding I'd come up to about here up there and back down you know how that is you know how the drill is uh, there's quite a few little things here for skateboarders actually uh, yeah, we are here in Good Gedling Country Park, but we're on um, we're on the Gedling side, let's say, not the Mapley Plain side. And as I say, down here there used to be uh, something abandoned. Don't believe it's here anymore. There used to be a farm down here. But we're going to have a look at what's what because I've heard there's other things here and it's it's worth coming to have a look if you can see down there that's where the new estate is it's called chase farm but we're heading towards now uh gedling country park and we're in it but i'm heading towards the possible abandoned part of it and we will also go to the um old railway tunnel that is the same tunnel that embarks out onto Woodthorpe Park in Nottingham. That's the old suburban railway. There was a couple of railways in Nottingham. Um, there was also the Great Northern Railway Line. But the suburban train went through Mapley, through Gedlin and Defar. And you could also go through to Daybrook going the other way. And I just want to show you where the old train tracks used to go. Uh, I was talking to you about this earlier. So they would have come under here. The train would have come down there, out of there, and across there. That was the old railway line. And I'm hoping to walk along it. Now, I can't promise you, but I'm going to try my best. So let's see if we can get down there. Come on. No. Mm -hmm. Dangerous cars coming over the hill, I'd say. Um, yeah, we're going to struggle to get in here, brother. Let's see what we can do. Mm. Yeah, I'd say come down this way, mate. Come this way. We'll go through here. Keep going. No, this way. This way. Go this way. This way. Oh, there's a. Do we have another fence? Yeah, I believe I do. Have we got another fence here? There's an abandoned house over there. There must be a way through though. Come on. At the bottom of here is where the uh, where the train tracks are, basically. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to get in here, but I would have liked to get in, seeing as the train tracks are down there. There's a lot of barbed wire going on here. Um, let's see if we can get in somehow. Tree, Gedling Country Park 
and I found this old railway. I'm assuming the railway line might have come along here. No, it couldn't have done. But I found this old bit of railway here and it's very old and it's very cool. And we are going to see the extent of both tunnels. So we've got this tunnel, which is on one part of the Gedlin Park. The come on, come this way. Come this way, boy. Yeah? We'll go down the bank here. Let's go down the bank. Come on. I might fall at this rate, but you never know. Come on. Come down. Come down here. Good boy. Good boy. And we're here today to see this old tunnel. Well, this old bridge, which was part of the old suburban railway. Now, this bridge, obviously, not many people come down to it. It's hard to get to, but I'm determined enough, so I've come down. And if you go back up here, you will see where these old things are for the old railway line. And it's pretty cool, actually, because if I hadn't have come here, I wouldn't have noticed it. Um, and as I say, there's some old rail tracks here. But yeah, here we are then. I wanted to show you this entrance to the tunnel that we're going to go and follow it all the way to the other side. Now, this is part of Lamley Lane. Oi! You come in. I think the dog's enjoying it more than me. But I'm really happy to have uh, found this place, to be honest with you. Because I never thought I would find it. But yeah. Here's where the old train would have come, under here. And it would have extended all the way down there. And this side of it goes to Gedling Country Park. So we're going to follow the line today. And we'll see where we get to. I'm not going down there. There's going to be too many thorns again. I've already put my foot, foot in some nettles today, which is bad enough. I've uh, got old sofas here old bits and bobs but there you can see the old railway track where it would have gone and that's where I'm planning to go and obviously we've had graffiti people here uh, you need to get your foot out of there my friend come on then so we're gonna uh, go down here Freak of Snenton. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing here, but yeah. Um, but as I say, here we are today with uh, Midlands Explorer. I'm in the old country park, but we're at the point where the old rail line would have gone. So it would have come out the other side of Gedling Country Park, where I'm going to soon, and then come out along here. And the line would have gone all the way down there. It's uh, it's pretty derelict. And I haven't got the right shoes on me today. And I've already been stung by a nettle. But let's just hope I don't get stung by anything else this time. Um, but yeah, here we are today. Really happy we came here. Because, well, I've always wanted to see this. We've got a rather old scooter here. Um, looks a bit rusty to me quite old might take a photo of that actually and obviously we've got all this stuff here so we're gonna go down there and I'm here today with marbles come on marbles no marbles, come on come on marbles come on good boy I think he wanted to go on the sofa for a bit. But yeah, we found uh, quite a few old things around here. We're going to carry on down here anyway, because... Well... I wasn't really supposed to come in the way I came, but you know. Um, so yeah, this is where the old track would have come. And it's quite, it's quite freaky, actually, because... Although it's not going to come now, you can still imagine the train coming through here. 
and I won't stand a chance if it does because I won't be able to move anyway. Um, but yeah, we've got Gedlin and Lamley Country Park down there, Lamley Lane, sorry, and this is where the old train would have come. <laughs> and as I say, we're just looking to see if we find anything. I'm not sure if we're going to find anything. I, um, but as I say, these are probably the two parts between where the tracks would have come, train tracks. Uh, I'm not sure what's up there actually. That could come handy to come out of here, going through there. So we'll go around in a minute. But we continue here with Midlands Explorer on the old train line. That is the same train line that would have come out near Wells Road and down into Sher uh, into yeah into Sherwood into Woodthorpe Park. Now I'm seeing something here that I don't know what it is, and it, it is quite a spooky place, you know. I've got to say it's quite uh, quite the spooky place along here. Intentional or unintentional, I don't know. There's a I just seen a, a butterfly flying about. Now, I'm trying to work out what this is. Is that just a tree? No, I don't think so. I think that's an old, an old telephone wire, maybe? An old telephone line? I don't know. It's fallen, for sure. Photo bump.
I've uh, stung myself in about 13 places again. That's on the floor there, but this is not private property because I've been here before. But anyway, come on, come up here. Um, yes, we found the entrance. I'm really happy we found the entrance. I thought we we're going to have to go all the way around. So, no. Right then, my friend, let's go down here. Um, let's head towards the old tunnel. As you do, I've just poked myself in my eye. God, I am clumsy today. Um, here we are, though. I want to show you something now that we're here. I don't know what this is, but I'm very curious to know. See if anyone knows what this is. I've had people asking me if it's a bunker. Other people asking me if something's under here hidden. The thing is, there's a padlock on it. Which makes me say, well, it must belong to somebody. Uh, but yeah, we're going to carry on along here then. And we're going to get through to the um, Gedlin Tunnel. Knott's Explorer and myself were here when it was snowing. But we haven't been back since. So I continue here. Along here. And eventually we're going to come out to an odd looking bridge, which, again, I don't know what you it's built or anything like that. But it must have had a purpose, obviously. And I'm not sure what the purpose was, but I'm going to show you anyway and see what you guys think. Um, as I say, this is... Um, we're here in the East Midlands in Nottinghamshire at the country Gedling Country Park which used to be Gedling Pits and we're heading towards the old Gedling Tunnel this is the best way to come to it if you're coming by foot you used to be able to cut through the old Chase Farm which is now taken over completely it's a new estate and you used to be able to as well come through another way here where you used to come out at the top of the tunnel where there was a drop you could stand there and there was like a drop and I've always thought it looks very dangerous now I'm not sure if anyone's like done anything to themselves there but it wouldn't surprise me now it's closed off and I'll show you when we get there and we're going now to see the well, first of all, I'm going to show you a bridge, which I've never quite understood what it's doing there. You guys might be able to help on this one. Um, it's not that old, the bridge. It is pretty cool, though, underneath it. So we're going to have a look. Here's the bridge. In the middle of the country park, as it would be. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to go under it and over it. And just give, you an, just give you a bit of an idea, because obviously there was a bridge here, for whatever reason, coming into the park. Can you see it? Here on my left. And you can walk across it from the other side, or you could do. I don't know if you can now. You used to be able to walk across it. Yeah, you can still walk across it. So, follow me. Remember to subscribe to my channel, Midlands Explorer. So we're going to go on top of the bridge, just to give you an idea. So... This is obviously the bridge, and not sure in what century it was made or nothing like that. I don't think it's related to the trains, neither. Um, I'm assuming it was just a path, or a road, that went from up there into Gedlin Park. That's all I can think of. Um, we're going to show you something anyway. What we're going to show you now, which is quite interesting, is under the bridge nearly fell again <laughs> under the bridge yeah quite cool under here if you ask me I think it is anyway look at that all the old piping and all that under here it's pretty cool um, as you can see more piping but also the old structure of the bridge so 
quite old, old really, this structure here, it's quite old, quite rusty, but it, yeah, I'm going to try and get a selfie under here, not a selfie actually, just a picture of the place, let's see if we can get a picture of the place, yeah, we've done that, come on then, carry on, so continuing then from this bridge, we go all the way down here, and we're going to find a few things for you, and that's why I was hoping you'd come with me today to have a look at a few findings. I always find things. Uh, I want to mention Knott's Explorer, who came with me to Mansfield. Uh, look for his videos. That's Knott's with a Z, Knott's Explorer. Big shout out to you and all other Urbexers that are in contact with me through my Instagram or social media networks. I want to take you to this little thing here then. So. This would have been part of something, guess, and I'll give it you, no, I won't, but do you know what it could have been? Can't be that hard, work it out. Come on, that's a little bit there. And this place is uh, just packed with trees, obviously, all different kind of trees from oak to um, uh, bar, well, let's just say, a lot of kinds of trees. I've just heard what sounded like a duck, which ain't that strange around here, to be honest. But I also see we've got a fallen tree where I'm coming to, so I'm not sure if we can get past this part now. I'm assuming there'll be a way past. Oh, there's quite a few trees falling here. Wonder why that is. Weather or deforestation again? I'm hoping it's not that. I'm hoping they haven't cut them down. But anything's possible. So we're going to try and get through here. If we can. Not an easy way through. But we'll try our best. Look, covered in trees everywhere that have fallen. Definitely fallen or been rooted out. Not sure actually. Well, this one's been rooted out. You can't blame that one for not being rooted out. Okay. Uh -huh. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Whoa. So, yeah been up uprooted but I found some stuff underneath it and it's the same with this tunnel here actually uh, sorry with this tree here been uprooted as well why I don't know yet again someone's been pulling on my lead the dog is pulled too much on the lead again annoying me you're not going up there mate so you might as well come back down again I don't know quite what he wants me to do, I ain't going up there. Come on. I'm coming down here, my friend. So, follow me. Down this bank. You dare pull me. In fact, I might just let you go. One minute, one minute. Marbles, come here. Come here. Come here. Marbles, come here. It doesn't listen, do you? Come here. Come here. Go. I'm letting him go down there so he can enjoy himself by himself. Ooh. Somebody nearly fell. <laughs> and again. Where are we going, Marbles? We're coming this way, darling. We're coming to show our viewers the famous old tree. Uh, famous old tree. What am I on with? Famous old railway entrance, which I believe now has been reclosed since last time I was here. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's been reclosed. And as I say, this is one hell of a beautiful place down here. Really, really beautiful. And got sandstone, trees have fallen. I'm starting to wonder if the tree thing is actually been done on purpose. Because it's kind of strange. You think what you want, yeah? Come and have a look and tell me what you think. I don't know if they've been put down on purpose. Something tells me they have. Or else why would they be the way they are? You going through? Doggy go through. Come on then, I'll go through as well then baby. Good boy. Good boy. Oh! Getting stuck in bushes again. As you do. So we're heading to the old Mapley, well, Gedlin Tunnel. 
Here's some more old artifacts, as I say. And down here, there's a lot of sinking soil. So I would be very careful if you do come down here. Right, last part of Gedlin Tunnel. I'm just showing you that all along here now, there's loads of trees. Not too sure why there's so many trees here falling down. Probably on purpose. This is really cool though. I'm here today looking at this. Uh, as I say, I'm down here in Gedling Country Park. And I'm going towards the old tunnel. We're going to get a photo of this. And we're going to carry on along here see what we can find. I do know there's a lot of sinking soil so be very careful should you come along here. It can be dangerous. Obviously the entrance to the tunnel was open before but I think we are in for a shock. I think it's been boarded up again. Possibly been boarded up again after seeing people like myself here on urban explorations. I don't know does look close to me though, so we're going to have a look nearby, nearby, not sure what this is here, uh, another, another finding, um, with water again, so there's obviously a lot of water under here, that's why maybe it's sinking sand, I don't know, up there used to be the bit what I said that you could go up before, and you were allowed to go to the top there and look down. Not anymore. Also, <laughs> this tunnel is obviously very dangerous as far as um, the structure of it. I've been told on many occasions the structure is what the issue is because it's got wooden beams across and it's simply not safe. So I've been here before, inside, but today I'm not going to have that kind of look. So today we're just going to take a photo. Might take a photo from the inside like that as well. And let's have a selfie. Mm, not sure how we're going to do a selfie actually, but yeah. The old tunnel, the old Gedlin tunnel. I've been in before, but now it's closed. In fact, I think I've been in twice. That's a real shame. But, okay, that's cool. You can see the old tunnel there. And this is obviously the other side to where we were earlier. And, big shame that that's not open. Yeah, big shame that's not open, but that's probably better for everyone involved because it was pretty dangerous. Um, obviously, this was my biggest hope today to get in there. Doesn't look like it's happening anymore. More boards! Um, so, yeah, there's always a bit of disappointment when you go to places. You'd never find things exactly how you want them. I understand that people close them for the safety of people but as an urban explorer it's quite an insult when I've been to a place before and find it closed. Marbles! Dogs found something over there. Um, sorry, I've got a load of flowers in my mouth um we're gonna carry on sinking soil i've told you about this here it potentially could be all dangerous it could just fall through i'm feeling a little bit sicky not sure why possibly because 
I've walked quite a bit without stopping, which I tend to do. <coughs> Back here again, quite like this thing here. Was this part of an old train or was it part of an old coal mine? What kind of thing is this? Does anybody know? Comment on the video below. I want to um, let you all know that there's a big night in Nottingham coming soon. Big drum and bass night at the box. Just thought I'd let you know about that because I just remembered about it. This is where we have to have a bit of music. Watch, 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 watch. Dun, 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 dun. Here he comes. Here he comes again. Hello, darling. <laughs> 